He calls it false and insulting. Tonight, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray is responding to an allegation that he's connected to the Ku Klux Klan. This comes after a hacker group threatened to expose identities of hundreds of KKK members and one report linked Mayor Gray. Kristen Kennedy talked to a local NAACP leader about the report, first on Fox. With several Lexington leaders, many who know Mayor Gray on a professional and personal level are calling the claims bogus. It's just a smokescreen, I believe. Lexington Fayette County NAACP President William Saunders works with Mayor Gray, respects him, and calls the claims against him absolutely false. Saturday, a guest posted on an internet text storage site the names of nine senators and mayors he claims are associated with the Ku Klux Klan. Mayor Gray being one of them. We spend time together, we march together, we have lunch together, we meet together. Uh, he has an open door policy. I just show up on the spur of the moment. He takes me and we talk about the issues that's going on in our community. Mayor Gray had choice words for the person claiming he has ties with the hate group, writing, this allegation is false, insulting, and ridiculous. I have never had any relationship of any kind with the KKK. I am opposed to everything it stands for. I have no idea where this information came from, but wherever it came from, it is wrong. A hacker group is threatening to release all names of public leaders associated with the hate group later this week. The Southern Poverty Law Center estimates the Klan currently has between 5,000 and 8,000 members. In Lexington, Kristen Kennedy for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Knoxville Mayor Madeline Rogero was also accused of having ties to the Ku Klux Klan. Rogero, who says she comes from an interracial family, is calling the claims defamatory and wants them retracted immediately.